I'll bet you didn't know that in the past, some countries almost went to war over fish. Huh? Why? They were fighting over the best fishing grounds. More fish means more money. Cool, so when I become a fisherwoman, I'm going to wear the best fishes too. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you can't actually fish in those places. How come? Those countries own those fish, and they can't fish in our waters either. But how can a country own fish? Well, after all that fighting over fishing grounds, countries decided that the best thing they could do was for each of them to claim a piece of the water. Today, up to 200 miles from the coast of any country is now that country's commercial fishing zone. The U.S. has the biggest zone in the world. Okay, then. I'll just fish where we live. Actually, it's not that easy. If you want to be a fisherwoman, you might have to buy some quota. What's a quota? Well, the fish that swim around here used to belong to everyone. But that's changed. How did that happen? Forty years ago, any commercial fisherman could go and fish as much as they wanted, all year long. But one day, they discovered that they had fished too much. You see, every fisherman worried about catching more than his competition. So it was like a race. Right. So then what happened? Well, to stop the overfishing, laws were made to tell fishermen when they could fish. But that just made the problem worse. The fish kept disappearing. So more laws were passed to say how much fish could be caught. Did it work? It's hard to say. Some say it did. Others weren't so sure. So then what did they do? Well, then they tried a new idea. It's called catch shares. It goes like this. If a small group of people owned the fish, they might take better care of them. That's good for the fish. Well, not that simple. Didn't think so. Remember when they limited how much fish could be caught? In a catch share system, that total amount is divided up into pieces called shares, also called quota. This quota is given to fishermen and fishing companies. How much quota you got depended on how much you fished there in the past. What if someone like me wanted to fish? I don't have any quota. <laughs> then you're not allowed to fish. No quota, no fishing. Aww. You see, something rare becomes more valuable. And since quota is treated like private property... Like my house or my bike. Quota can be traded, bought or sold on the open market. Which is what lots of fishermen did. They rented or sold their shares off. To other fishermen? Yes, but not always. In fact, many fishermen and seafood companies bought lots of quota and rented them to those who wanted it but didn't have any. These quota owners are called armchair fishermen. <laughs> So they had other people to fish for them. Mm-hmm. And they also take a cut of all the money made. See, with catch shares, it's easier for a few players to control most of a fishery. What do you mean? I'll give you an example. New Zealand had one of the first catch share systems in the world. Today, only eight companies produce 80% of all the fish from there. America isn't like New Zealand, though. No, but today, more of our fisheries are using catch shares. And that's where most fish in America is caught. So did the cat share stop overfishing? The thing is, we're not sure it has. With cat shares, many fish have returned, but there are many that haven't. Not all cat share fisheries squeeze out small fishermen. Some make sure that quota only stays within the community. Most, though, don't work that way. Maybe there are other ways to take care of our fish. Oh, well, maybe. Catch shares are only one solution. For instance, our government could rent out quota, not give them away to keep forever. The money collected could help better conserve our fish, like stopping those who fish too much. Yeah, no cheating. And making sure rules are followed at sea, too. 
good for the fish. Hmm. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm gonna be an astronaut instead. Any little fish has many little fish swish swish in the stream while the warm sun gleams as many little fish like cod and koi all suddenly enjoy any girl or boy to swim and shimmer in the shimmering river.